The debate over controlling the kinds of books children have access to in schools is alive in several districts across Maine. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Chris Costa, in for Pat Callahan. MSA D6, which covers Buxton, Hollis, Limington, and Standish, has had this debate over and over again. The latest will come as a school board vote on Monday on whether Bonnie Eagle High School can keep its copy of the book Gender Queer, a memoir. But as New Center Maine's Jack Molnud shows us, the debate over the book is escalating into online harassment. My high school junior has never known a year without being afraid of potential gun violence in schools. And now we have to worry about people coming after teachers and staff, and that's unacceptable. Kate McDonald has two kids at Bonnie Eagle High School in MSAD 6. She also started a petition calling on the school board to keep the book Gender Queer, a memoir on shelves at the school. A group of people in the community have been pushing for the book, which is not required reading, to be pulled. Since creating the petition, McDonald said she's been attacked online by members of that group. Um, they went on to my social media and pulled photos and posted those for folks to see. And very shortly after the messages started. She says she's also received DMs from people in that group and tells us that her kids are now afraid to speak out at school. But it's flowing down to some of our students. Um, and that's really upsetting. The group that posted Kate's social media photos is called Education Revolution. The page is moderated by Vicki Shane, a former school board candidate who lost her election back in June. That makes me sad if, if that is truly the case. And, and I would say that anyone that's, that's on my page, that follows our page, if you're doing that, you're wrong. So it's not only teachers who say that they've been attacked online for their support of the book Gender Queer. Teachers right here at Bonnie Eagle High School have reportedly also been harassed online as well. Uh, you know, she appears to be fitting that uh, description of groomer. A podcaster and education activist in Maine who has been outspoken on gender and sexual content in schools recently posted an episode in which he released contact info for Bonnie Eagle staff members. So, um, and her email address, if you want to contact her, is... G That's when, according to the teachers union at Bonnie Eagle, some of its members started getting harassing messages. Quote, some are working to drive a wedge between parents and educators, pushing an extreme political agenda which has no place in our public schools, the union said in a statement. MSAD6 school board chair Nathan Carlo also issued a statement saying, quote, Many of our teachers fear they will be the next victim of this group's slander, and it's important that our community know that the board supports each of our dedicated professionals. So I had a moment to catch up with the superintendent of MSAD6 about an update regarding their vote for the book Gender Queer next Monday. He tells me that the school board members do have the book, and they will be prepared to vote this upcoming Monday. In Buxton, Jack Molmud, New Center, Maine. After trying to get a hold of him for much of the day, the podcaster mentioned in the story did get back to us late this afternoon. He calls teachers' claims that they're being threatened absolutely ridiculous. He goes on to say that if threats were made, they should call the police. As for releasing the contact information of those teachers, he says the information was already public.